Good afternoon. I'm Yevgen Chuli. I'm head of the international mission of the Ukrainian World Congress to monitor elections in Ukraine in 2019. And uh, my deputy is Andrei Fute, who is at the same time head monitoring mission of the Ukrainian Congress Committee of the America mission, and also he, he is the uh, head of the Ukrainian Congress Committee. And uh, from the left, uh, Tamara Gallo, coordinator of the Ukrainian Congress Committee of America mission, and uh, Ms. Marina Yaroshevich, advisor to the head of Ukrainian Congress Committee mission uh, for the 2019 elections in Ukraine, and uh, she is the head of the mission of the um, World uh, Congress to international organizations uh, in Brussels. Uh, I have an honor today to present preliminary conclusions of the mission of the Ukrainian World Congress, and uh, uh, Andrei Fatei will provide preliminary conclusions of the um, Ukrainian Congress Committee of America. Uh, so, um, um, SKU carries out observance of elections and in Ukraine in 2019, and this is the third. Um, it is the third largest uh, uh, observing uh, uh, mission, uh, observance mission uh, uh, after uh, the OSCE uh, mission and of the European uh, Network uh, on uh, Elections Monitoring, or INAMO, uh, the abbreviation is uh, of this organization. The mission of uh, the uh, Ukrainian World Congress uh, has uh, registered uh, 219 short-term uh, ob uh, observers uh, for, uh, monitor for the monitoring of uh, uh, the elections. Uh, they arrived from uh, 16 countries, uh, specifically from Australia, Belarus, uh, Georgia, Estonia, Canada, uh, Latvia, Moldova, uh, Germany, Poland, uh, Romania, uh, Slovenia, uh, the, the United Kingdom, uh, the United States, France, uh, Czech Republic, and Switzerland. Uh, the uh, mission of uh, the uh, Ukrainian World uh, Congress has uh, been cooperating uh, closely with the observer mission uh, of its uh, uh, partner uh, and member organization of the Ukrainian Congress Committee that uh, also registered 78 short-term observers uh, at uh, the uh, Central Electoral, uh, Electoral Committee of Ukraine. Uh, to get together, uh, the mission of uh, the uh, Ukrainian World Congress and uh, the uh, uh, Congress uh, 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 committee, uh, uh, they registered 297 uh, short-term observers uh, at the Electoral Committee, uh, and they monitored the elections in 18 uh, regions of Ukraine, Vinitsa, Volyn, Dnipropetrovsk, Donetsk, Zhytomyr, Zakarpatya, Ivano-Frankivsk, Kyiv, uh, Kirovograd, Lviv, Mykolaiv, Odessa, Poltava, Ternopil, Kherson, Melnitsky, Cherkassy, and Chernivtsi oblasts. Besides, uh, our missions uh, monitored uh, the voting uh, in uh, or at the Ukrainian diplomatic uh, missions uh, in 25 countries, specifically in Argentina, Belgium, uh, Belarusia, Bulgaria, uh, the United Kingdom, uh, Greece, Denmark, Estonia, Israel, Spain, Italy, Kazakhstan, Canada, Moldova, the Netherlands, uh, Germany, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Serbia, the United States, uh, Turkey, Hungary, uh, Croatia, and Switzerland. Uh, the missions of the WC and UCCA are the only international missions uh, that uh, monitored uh, the election uh, process in Ukrainian diplomatic missions uh, all over the world.
the conclusions of uh, the mission of uh, the uh, UWC uh, 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 has drawn its conclusions on uh, the basis of uh, monitoring of its uh, uh, members uh, and also uh, the meetings with the representatives of the government, uh, civic organizations, non-governmental organizations and international uh, community. Uh, the WC mission has analyzed uh, the uh, presidential elections uh, on behalf, uh, on the basis of uh, the international commitments of Ukraine, uh, um, uh, with regard to the freedom of uh, freedom of speech, uh, freedom of elections. Uh, and other basic rights and freedoms, and uh, uh, the members of the mission has registered a number, uh, a small number of uh, minor violations uh, at uh, some uh, polling stations, like, for example, the lack uh, of uh, complete information about all the candidates uh, at some polling stations. Uh, the uh, uh, Pre uh, the uh, earlier than scheduled closures uh, of uh, some of the polling stations, uh, uh, the uh, location of uh, the uh, ballot boxes in uh, the places where they could not be uh, directly uh, observed uh, by the staff uh, of uh, the uh, polling station teams, and uh, also. Uh, uh, the uh, complicated access for the elderly people uh, to the polling stations and to uh, the uh, poll booths. Uh, these uh, minor violations, these violations uh, were minor and didn't affect the results of the of the elections. Uh, the authorities of Ukraine uh, exerted significant effort uh, so that uh, the elections uh, uh, could be uh, transparent and would be uh, and be held uh, at the highest possible uh, level without the use of any administrative uh, undue uh, and undue use of uh, administrative resources or support or in order to support some of the candidates or any of the candidates the uh, data of the uh, Ukraine's uh, Central Electoral Committee uh, confirms the turnover of, uh, uh, in excess of 60 percent and on the, uh, upon the results uh, of uh, the uh, monitoring uh, by the mission of uh, the uh, uh, UWC, uh, the presidential elections in Ukraine of 2019 uh, correspond to the international standards uh, of uh, holding of conduct of uh, uh, democratic elections. Uh, our preliminary conclusions uh, before the uh, counting of uh, the votes uh, 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 our, the, our, pre uh, prelimin our conclusions were preliminary and were done before the counting, the final counting of the votes, and uh, uh, before any uh, possible uh, court proceedings uh, with regard to possible claims uh, and uh, appeals. The mission also uh, going to uh, publish its uh, final uh, report. Uh, the media monitoring. It's been long term from uh, March the 4th of 2019. There uh, were uh, 122 long term observers uh, of uh, the mission of UWC. Uh, they were trying to establish uh, the uh, cases of misinformation. Uh, in Ukraine in general and uh, w w with regard to Ukraine in general and with regard to presidential elections uh, in particular. They uh, were monitoring the media in 28 uh, countries. In Australia, Azerbaijan, Argentina, Belgium, Brazil, Greece, Estonia, Spain, Italy, Kazakhstan, Canada, Latvia, uh, Lebanon, Mozambique, Moldova, Germany, uh, United Arab Emirates, uh, uh, Poland, Portugal, Serbia, uh, Slovakia, the United Kingdom, the United States of America, Ukraine, France, Croatia, the Czech Republic and Switzerland. The long-term observers uh, of uh, the World Ukrainian uh, Congress uh, 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 have uh, an, or were analyzing the publications uh, in the media uh, 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 in terms of their objectivity and balanced uh, coverage of different opinions. Uh, 
and uh, publication of some controversial or uh, uh, misleading information, the articles with some emotional, uh, some emotionally loaded uh, or emotionally charged uh, articles uh, that uh, provoke anger or shock and uh, similar tendencies. They were also uh, uh, monitored uh, the uh, specific narratives uh, that include, uh, among others, uh, whether the elections uh, could be falsified or would be uh, falsified and does not uh, reflect uh, the will of the Ukrainian people. The Ukrainian state uh, is incapable of holding uh, uh, honest, uh, 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 transparent and democratic elections. And uh, uh, in Ukraine, uh, there are no candidates uh, who uh, have uh, the trust of the people. And Ukraine, in general, is uh, a failed uh, state. Although the long-term uh, observers uh, of UWC, uh, uh, they will continue, and uh, its results will be presented uh, in, t in the uh, uh, final uh, report. Uh, we uh, want to say that uh, the disinformation is a u widely used instrument uh, in the arsenal of the hybrid aggression of the Russian Federation that is not limited uh, to uh, use uh, uh, exclusively in uh, Ukraine. Uh, misinformation appears uh, all over the world in different media and uh, with regard to different narratives. Some related uh, to the elections, some uh, related to the other aspects uh, and uh, regarding uh, regard the potential of Ukraine as independent state. Some methods and narratives uh, that uh, have been uh, discovered by the long-term observers of uh, the UWC uh, include uh, uh, the publications uh, uh, with uh, uh, within the Russian Federation, uh, like uh, the uh, by uh, such uh, uh, news outlets as TASS, uh, Russia Today, and Sputnik, uh, some articles uh, were published uh, that represented Ukrainian state and its authorities uh, as uh, the territory of chaos. Uh, thus, uh, were distorting the picture, the image of Ukraine in the eyes of international community, and uh, the most typical uh, descriptions of Ukraine. Uh, are uh, as uh, of the country that is out of any control, where the authorities are unreliable and unfaith uh, do not uh, enjoy the trust of the people, uh, and where the population is uh, very much split. Uh, some of the ad uh, advertisement uh, articles uh, by the representatives of the Russian Federation uh, abroad uh, were published uh, also in some of the local media, and uh, the UWC considered them as uh, uh, disinformation uh, aimed against Ukraine. Uh, uh, I would like to uh, stress it uh, uh, once again uh, that uh, the attempts to present or mis misrepresent Ukraine as a failed uh, state uh, is uh, or confirms uh, uh, once uh, I, I can confirm once again that uh, these mis mispresentations uh, were uh, uh, irrelevant. And uh, uh, our conclusion, uh, and I want to highlight, to stress it again, says Mr. Chili, the presidential elections of this year in Ukraine uh, correspond uh, to the international standards of democratic elections. Uh, the mission of uh, the uh, Ukraine uh, World Congress thanks uh, the uh, people of Ukraine for uh, its hospitality and in particular on uh, March the 31st, uh, on the day when the first tour of uh, presidential elections uh, uh, was held in Ukraine. I now turn the floor over to uh, the coordinator of, uh, or, or rather to uh, the deputy head of the Ukrainian World Congress Mission, head of the Ukrainian uh, Congress Committee of uh, America, Mr. Uh, Andrew Foute. Thank you, says Mr. Foute. Uh, the UCCA uh, uh, is the largest uh, uh, organization of uh, uh, the Americans uh, of Ukrainian descent, and it's one of the few uh, non-governmental uh, Ukrainian organizations, and uh, the only Ukrainian uh, organization of uh, foreign Ukrainians registered at the uh, Central Electoral Committee of Ukraine. Uh, the organization has been uh, monitoring the elections in Ukraine since 1994. 
on March uh, the 31st, uh, the uh, monitoring mission of uh, UCCA, uh, uh, composed of 78 uh, registered uh, uh, observers, uh, was uh, controlling the process of voting in uh, the regions uh, that uh, were already mentioned, uh, the regions of Ukraine, uh, specifically 18 uh, regions. Uh, and uh, also in uh, the uh, diplomatic representations, diplomatic missions of Ukraine abroad. Uh, during the day of uh, the voting, uh, the mission uh, uh, and mission informs, uh, wants to inform you about that, that uh, the uh, elections, the voting took place uh, in a transparent and democratic uh, way. Uh, in their reports uh, from uh, more than 700 polling stations, uh, the uh, monitors, uh, or the observers, uh, uh, informed uh, about uh, uh, the fact that 96 uh, polling stations performed their functions uh, well or very well, which means that uh, the high level of objectivity was upheld during the voting. Uh, the mission of UCCA uh, has uh, registered a number of minor uh, violations that uh, were that did not affect uh, the results of uh, the vote. For example, uh, the uh, lack of uh, some of the uh, uh, presentation materials uh, for the uh, presidential candidates, uh, some of the presidential candidates, and some uh, observers uh, pointed out uh, that uh, the polling stations uh, were located on the second and third floor of the premises, which uh, limited the access to them, uh, to the polling places uh, of uh, the elderly people and people uh, with uh, 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 limited uh, physical abilities. Therefore, uh, our mission uh, confirms uh, that uh, the presidential elections uh, of uh, March the 31st of 2019 uh, uh, corresponded to the international standards, were democratic and transparent, and corresponded to or reflected the will of the Ukrainian people. UCCA confirms, uh, uh, or rather would like to thank the members of uh, the mission who voluntarily uh, spent uh, their uh, own time uh, uh, for uh, the uh, upholding or for the cause of the upholding of democracy in Ukraine. I would uh, uh, now like to uh, invite uh, Ms. Tamara Oleksii, who is the coordinator of the Ukrainian Congress Committee of American Mission, uh, to share uh, with us some of her observations. The long-term observers uh, of UCCA uh, were our main uh, resource uh, for the uh, assessment uh, of uh, the adherence to the procedure, uh, to the electoral procedure during on the day of uh, the voting. Uh, uh, the, each uh, each uh, group uh, contributed to a general uh, picture of uh, uh, the uh, electoral uh, or the day of the voting uh, of uh, the president of Ukraine and uh, the presence uh, of uh, uh, the. Uh, observers uh, and their distribution Femke Sterling Business School allowed the proportional representation of those observers in uh, practically all uh, the regions uh, of Ukraine. The online uh, forms uh, were used by our observers uh, uh, during the day of elections. One of these uh, forms is filled in uh, uh, at the, the beginning of the day of the voting, uh, the other type of the form uh, is, uh, or the second type of the form, uh, uh, during the day of uh, the voting, and uh, the third one uh, at the closure of uh, the uh, polling stations. So the, gen uh, the general uh, observation uh, was uh, done, the general picture, so to say, of the voting at uh, different uh, polling stations was uh, uh, worked out, and uh, on the basis of that so to say, picture, we uh, made uh, our conclusions, and I would like to uh, emphasize it again uh, that each uh, member of our uh, observer mission uh, is a volunteer. They all spend uh, their own time uh, in order to participate uh, in the mission, and they cover uh, by themselves all the costs uh, related to uh, the work of uh, the mission. And uh, among the members uh, of the mission are not only uh, Americans of Ukrainian descent, but also uh, the Americans of uh, American citizens of other nationalities. And I would like to thank them for their effort. 
And in conclusion, I would like to ask uh, Ms. Uh, Marina Yaroshevich, who is uh, uh, an advisor to the head of the Ukrainian Congress Committee mission, uh, that she uh, inform us uh, about uh, the uh, work of uh, the long-term observers who were monitoring uh, the media publications. Thank you very much. As we all uh, know, uh, in the recent years, uh, uh, the world uh, has uh, witnessed uh, uh, the attempts to uh, influence uh, some uh, uh, domestic polit uh, uh, some processes of domestic politics, and uh, uh, some of uh, the. Uh, in some countries, uh, the uh, process of elections. Uh, I can refer here to uh, the uh, United Kingdom, uh, and uh, that was the reason why our mission uh, wanted uh, to uh, participate in the monitoring of the media in order to uh, uh, discover any attempts, uh, or the attempts, if any, of influencing, of affecting uh, the views of the public uh, uh, in Ukraine uh, with regard to uh, the uh, presidential elections. We uh, have uh, 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 quickly understood that uh, here in Ukraine there are some specialized, highly specialized organizations uh, like Stop Fake and uh, the detector uh, of uh, uh, the uh, Ukraine uh, Institute of Mass Media, uh, Ukraine World, and some others. So uh, we, uh, uh, after that, we uh, decided to uh, focus our attention on uh, the publications outside of Ukraine or and media uh, uh, activities outside of Ukraine. Uh, as uh, Mr. Chili uh, uh, has already uh, told you, 122 of our long-term monitors uh, were working in uh, uh, a number of countries, uh, and uh, uh, a certain a certain methodology uh, was uh, developed uh, that. Uh, some publications uh, or articles or declarations and uh, even some posts uh, in uh, the social media, uh, uh, they had, uh, in our view, uh, some, uh, some uh, uh, features of misinformation. Uh, and uh, uh, we have already, uh, or already the electronic uh, forms uh, uh, for the observers uh, uh, were mentioned. We also used uh, similar forms, and the analytical group uh, that was uh, uh, doing an uh, in-depth, was making an in-depth analysis, uh, 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 the members of the group, uh, uh, they uh, compiled uh, the uh, f data uh, that uh, was collated in uh, this uh, way. Uh, the, this work continues, is continuing, and today uh, we uh, uh, have uh, already, uh, for example, uh, gathered uh, the data on the number of uh, publications in foreign media about the results uh, of uh, the first uh, round of elections, presidential elections in Ukraine. And we are going to use uh, these uh, results uh, for the final uh, uh, report that we are going to publish uh, approximately a week uh, after uh, the final results of uh, uh, the runoff uh, uh, are available. Uh, I'm ready to uh, answer uh, questions, if any, says Mr. Chili. Uh, Institute of Liberalism, thank you for your wonderful work. And uh, have uh, my question is, uh, uh, were your uh, uh, observers monitoring also uh, the uh, the the uh, uh, process of voting in uh, on? Uh, the, the entire process, uh, that's Mr. Chile wants to clarify. Do you mean, he says, uh, whether they uh, monitored the whole process uh, uh, from the beginning to the end, uh, whether they remained at the polling stations uh, and uh, also monitored uh, the uh, uh, vote counting? Yes, uh, they did that, uh, exactly that. Any more questions? If no, uh, let me thank you. And after uh, the second round, uh, uh, we uh, hope to be able to uh, sound you out uh, about the results of uh, the runoff. Thank you.